Hello everyone and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost where we are here in the new pirate bay with our pirate otters. Look at these guys. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh, the otters make the coolest little chirping noises. Do it again. Oh, I can just barely hear him. Oh, you guys, I love them. I love them. And hopefully we will be able to help the otters feel very at home and love their new home even though it currently happens to be snowing here. And like we have mentioned before, the river otters, the giant river otters are not native to places where it snows. Their natural habitat is actually down in South America where they should be enjoying the warm balmy temperatures of 50 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and hopefully have like a lot of water they can swim in. They are semi-aquatic animals. More about the semi-aquatic animals in just a second. Irene the penguin is about to have a baby. Oh, what a wonderful way to go ahead and start our day here in ice ice outpost oh you guys oh you guys look at the penguins i am so happy i still had no idea that i really 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 wanted these penguins in my life and here we are irene do you want to go ahead do you do you want to lay your egg in other words to go ahead and have your little your juvenile baby who is this thom look at you look at you sleep how is that comfortable I see birds sleep like that all of the time. There was a morning dove sleeping in the branches outside of our living room window yesterday who was doing the same thing with that flop neck. But that just doesn't look cozy. Well, that makes me wonder about how many vertebrae birds actually have uh, in their neck, but we'll look into that in the future. All right, Irene, are you going to have this baby? Somebody had a baby and you two are like fighting over there. Oh my gosh, I could watch the penguins all day. They are amazing. Oh, hey, look, and their keeper came in. It's penguin photographer Tom. Let's go ahead and give him some training so that he can he can work well at what he's supposed to do. Irene, have you had this baby yet? And like, Tith is about to have her offspring. Okay, look, I'll come back for you penguins. Uh, this penguin is trying to make an escape for it. Oh, <gasps> the seal! The seal is actually on the little float. Oh, we haven't seen anybody use this little diving float yet. This is so exciting. Hi, which seal are you? It's Pebble Rose. And she is due to give birth this year too. She's gonna have a baby in August. Heck, that is so exciting. Oh my gosh, look, and now we ended up under the water by accident and now we're swimming with seals. Okay, that's it. Planet Zoo has officially reached levels of just wonder and glory that I thought it couldn't get over after we ended up having such a beautiful giraffe time with Sahula Sand Safari. But actually watching all of these semi-aquatic animals swim is just so much fun. Also, Nadrika, please don't interbreed. Oh dear, she interbred. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move her. Here, you go ahead and come over to the little lost lamb area. All right, and our dangerous animal escaped. Whoops! Okay, guys, so I got distracted by penguins having babies, and we actually need to back it up a little bit and work on taking good care of our otters. Let's just emergency capture Ricardo, who is going to get a new name in just a second, and let's go ahead and actually begin our day, including checking on who? Dolores. Oh, and including checking on our giant otters and making sure they aren't too sad. So, okay. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to start working on the giant river otter exhibit. So let's come over here and uh, giant river otters. There we go. We're going to give that place a name. I think we already have staff assigned to this area. Um, while we are replacing the otter, we'll check to make sure we have staff assigned. And let's see all of the places that they can actually escape, which should actually show up now. All right, Dolores, if you could just hold still for just a second, my dear. Oh my, all right. So there's a lot of places they could actually escape over here that we need to fix. All right, I think the first thing we need to do is actually raise the barriers over here. Oh, and good news. Today, a new update came out for Planet Zoo that should fix the inability that we currently have um, to not select the barriers. We should be able to research the barriers properly. There are some beautiful new barriers. The thick glass that are available so that you can put it uh, in water areas, like really nice thick glass so you don't have to worry about the animals getting through the other side. And we haven't been able to research it because for some reason, let's see, ship mechanic, ship of mint, can you research it? I hope so. 
For some reason that was glitched, but there was an update this morning that fixed that. And in the update this morning, there's also a brand new community challenge that I want to start. Oh, there's a t-shirt for it that I want to start working on where you need to release 60,000 silver rated semi-aquatic animals. And oh, what big teeth you have. Who can resist the wonderful smile of charmers like the saltwater crocodile or garl? Help bring more smiles and joy to, this wor to the world this week by releasing Releasing silver rated semi aquatic animals. And you know who else is also semi aquatic? In fact, like the otter is semi aquatic. Let me see. And then I'm pretty sure. So the tortoise is not semi aquatic. Is the tapir? The tapir is not semi aquatic. I was thinking capybara, which is why I thought about the tapir. Um, but who else would be? So the dwarf came in, so we can get our tiny little caiman for our little pirate bay and the little pirate bay moat that we want to work on. Oh, check that out! And the diamondback terrapin is actually aquatic. Do you think the diamondback terrapins would count? You guys, we need to get some turtles and see if releasing is... Well, I guess, do you release silver rated or you just sell them? All right, this, no, I think you just release or you just sell the the animals uh, let's see do i have any that have bred recently over here i do i think you just sell yeah you just sell the animals in the exhibits darn i was totally going to go all in yeah release to wild is not possible of course with these guys so oh well i was going to go all in on terrapins for just a second but let's figure out the rest of the places that the otters might be able to escape. Let's pause really quickly. We rarely do, but I just want to make sure our otters are safe and sound. All right, and we're going to need to grab the barrier over here. And this one, and then up. And we'll hide those with rocks in the near future. All right, how are we doing this time? All right, and our otters are gonna be nice and safe. Yay, okay. Now we just need to work on making them really happy. Uh, really quickly with the semi-aquatic thing. Facility is without power. All right, we're gonna need to take care of that. With the semi-aquatic challenge, we will look into that in just a second and we'll, we'll see if we can make some progress to there uh, so that hopefully we can have some more silver rated animals. Maybe that'll be a great excuse to be able to come over to our new pirate bay and to add in tons of other animals. <gasps> that would be so much fun. Think about all the different types of crocodiles we might just suddenly have in our little pirate bay area. That delights me. Uh, all right, but let's make our otters happy. They are now here. They are part of this world. We need to make sure that there's no places where the snow actually can touch them. And I hope that the water is warm enough. I put a couple heaters in the water, but I don't mind using more than one. All right, and then let's see what they need, including giving them names. So Dolores, we're actually gonna come over here and we are going to be renaming Dolores Blue, which is such a freaking cute name, especially for a little squeaker like that. And that is from a name that Alyssa suggested. And Alyssa, you left such a sweet, heartwarming comment. It was the very first comment I saw today because it's the very first one that got pulled up by the random generator. Thank you so much for your kindness. I just, I, it really boosted me. And you know, no matter who you are, I feel like somebody being nice to you first thing in the morning just makes you feel really overjoyed. So Alyssa, I wanna actually, we're gonna call this Alyssa um, Alyssa's hideout and we're gonna name the place that the otters will sleep in forever more after you because of your very very kind sweet comment all right and then let's come over and pull up the next comment from the random comment generator and we have a name for our male so let's find out where he has gone off to it's Ricardo Ricardo what Ricardo 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 dude no ah, he's escaped somehow friends all right, we're gonna move him over here. Ricardo, that was really rude. You weren't supposed to escape. We're gonna have to go ahead. They are pirate giant river otters, so maybe they're up to some sort of mysterious ways, but I caught him. Ricardo, you goose, you'll freeze out anywhere else. You need to stay here. You absolutely need to stay here. 
but we're going to rename Ricardo to Otty, the River Otter, another one of the names that you guys have suggested. And if you guys want to be able to name some of the River Otters and their many offspring, all you need to do is go ahead and leave some comments. And let's raise this up just in case that was the spot where they escaped. And then I run a random comments generator that will give you guys a chance to add your little touch into our wonderful Ice Ice outpost. All right, time to make these pirate river otters happy. So let's see what we can do to really make them more content. I think the water is way too cold. So let's try adding more heaters into the water. There's a ton of heaters, but I don't know if that's going to really improve their condition. Um, protesters have arrived, I think, because of the otters. So we're going to do the best we can. All right, they're starting to feel the temperature a little bit better now that they're over here. Oh, he jumped into his little house. It's so cute. So we need to get enrichment for them. Oh, that reminds me. We need somebody to do the research. Do I have a researcher over here? I don't know if we have a researcher over here just yet. Let's look into the work zones. A pirate researcher. Chips and I actually play quite a bit of Sea of Thieves of late. I'm learning how to be a pirate there. Rawr. Um, and it's really fun. And it's a very pretty game. Let's see. And we do not have a pirate researcher. So we need to get a new staff member. Let's see. Veterinarian. There we go. All right. And this is going to be our new pirate researcher. So she's going to be... What should we say? The treasure map analyzer. So she's going to be the treasure, the mas the tre the master of treasure maps. All right. Uh -huh. Master of maps. There we go. Uh, Rhonda. Rhonda is one of our amazing patrons. And thanks to Rhonda, we are now going to be able to research our wonderful new giant river otters and figure out what makes them as happy as possible. All right. There you go, Rhonda. And we're going to get her promoted as soon as we can. But Rhonda, thank you so much for being one of our patrons and for keeping all of the Pixel Biology adventures going. Heck. Oh, hey! <gasps> yes! And we completed our gray seal research! That makes me so happy! All right, and then we'll pull Rhonda over. Map Master Rhonda, there we go. Hopefully she'll get trained. Hopefully she'll go ahead and Rhonda, come over here, start researching the river otters. And we can figure out what kind of enrichment we want to give them. Yay, and Yuriko, the king penguin, is expecting offspring. Good job, penguins. Hopefully we'll come back over and find that our penguins have had many, many babies very soon. Where are the river otters? Oh, thank goodness, they're over here. All right, is this water better for them? All right, very chilly. Oh, I know. Let's try turning the, the ones we have, like, way up. I don't want to, like, boil our river otters. But they can go, like, up to 100. So let's try... The average temperature is ambient zoo temperature. So let's, let's put this, like, well into the 90s. And maybe that'll help. So we'll see if we can we can get this hot enough. Because it has to fight against that ambient temperature. If hopefully we can keep it warm enough for them. And then current temperature, 86. 86. Is that comfy? Good, their temperature is okay. But we need to make it better for the terrain that they enjoy. So let's find out what the terrain needs to be. We need some grass! It's all rock right now. Way too much rock. They want a little bit of sand. They want lots of long grass. Oh, we're gonna have to alter this too. We'll work on, on the spot. We're gonna turn this into a cliffside that has like a lot of trees, the big, huge trees, and has a whole bunch of ferns hanging off the side. Trust me. It's so exciting to be able to work with plants in Ice Ice Outpost, because normally we just need grass for the sheep to eat. And otherwise it's, it's kind of a quiet area. All right. Adi, what do you think? Okay, he's getting happier with the long grass. Good, good, good. And now we want some short grass. We can totally put that down over here. I can't wait to decorate this area. It's going to be lovely. 
All right, so short grass he's happy with. And then we'll put some short grass all up here. And we'll just say that the like hot springs that they happen to live in is what makes it possible for this to happen. All right, now, now too much short grass. We need to ease it out a little. So I wonder what the other things I can make are, because he doesn't want that much, he wants more sand than anything. So we'll come over here and add some sand. And I don't think, yeah, the things that you add in the water don't really count. All right, hopefully cover up some of the rock back here. Turn it into sand. And then we'll get down in here. Ooh, how cool! This looks like- I, I just love this look because it just makes me think about like a bunch of pirates sneaking into a hidden cave. I would like to be amongst these pirates if like your hidden cave also has a hot spring and you're like pirating around a really really cold area. You're gonna warm up quite a bit. Alright, we've got to find all those little hidden spots of land that we can't see now that are part of their exhibit that have rock. Aha! See? You just, you really have to kind of like quest it out. Because I covered up so much of the land with the rocks. Yay! Now they're happy about the sand! Alright, maybe over here? We're so close, you guys! I just need to find if there's like any more little hidden spots. I'm sorry, guys. You're, you're just going to have a lot of rocks at the end of the day. That's going to be how it's going to be. All right. Any other rocks? Ah, oh, we're so close. It always feels like a mini game or something when you're trying to, like, narrow it down to the last little bit. Oh, probably over here. Yes! Ah! It was under the waterfall. Okay, and they want no snow, but I can't do anything about that. But otherwise, they have plenty of area. Oh, that's already looking so much better. What do you think, Audie? All right, and now he wants some plants, and we need to get some enrichment in here for them. Absolutely. All right. What can we do to make our otters as happy as possible? And I guess next time we'll have to work on what kind of other amazing things we might be able to do to go ahead and release semi-aquatic animals. Um, aquatic habitat, the jetties jetty bedding oh jetty bedding platform and here's the platform floats yes okay let's get a platform float out here for sure so people can see them oh no look at all this trash oh you jerks okay we'll take care of the trash in a little bit and let's get a underwater feeder over here and then let's also get an underwater feeder that we might hide like behind a rock over here and we'll get some of those beautiful ambient fish going on. <gasps> Water jet enrichment! What does it do and where does it go? This is such a cool idea. Oh, cute! Cute, 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 cute. Do I put that like, do I put that, where do I put that? Here, we'll put it over by the shore. I'm not sure if it's meant to go like underwater, like this, or if it's meant to go like, here, let's make, let's actually have a spot over here where they can potentially play with it. And we'll cover these up with rocks and just say that it's like a little spring. That's really cool. Um, and then the rubber ducky, of course, that is absolutely required. The pirate captain's rubber ducky. Boink. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so they're doing pretty good on toys. They're really much more curious than I thought they would be. And here's the bubble machine. I wonder if they play with the... So does the bubble machine go underwater? Oh, it's so cute. All right, let's put the bubble machine down here as well. So that hopefully they will swim over here and they will play with their little bubble machine. And people can squeak just as much as the otters about how freaking adorable it is. There we go. I still think those look like sea anemones. Oh, that's so fun. All right. So we'll have to... Oh, look at all of those toys. I think that should make for... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh.
my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so cute! So cute, so cute, so cute! Hang on, I got it, I got it, oh, there we go. They just run through the little waterway! Alright, that should have a much happier little pirate river otter. Blue, Ani, I hope you guys are happy. We definitely need to give them a lovely garden now that we have gotten some of the basics down. But I think they are no longer going to freeze. They should be pretty happy. And hopefully they'll even start thinking, oh, we need to do plants. We'll do a garden for them next time. And then hopefully next time we will also be able to start thinking about maybe exploring this challenge in terms of uh, like expanding all of the cool aquatic things for our pirate bay. I love it. Also, we're probably gonna need to start like cleaning this place up and trying to take care of other details so that we can continue to earn tons of money from people. Hmm. But all right, guys, if you guys could do please leave a like for our lovely, lovely pirate river otters i have a feeling that this is just going to be so much fun to create a perfect little pirate bay for them <gasps> look at him eat the fish that's so cool and if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>